This week in the Missouri Senate, in review of the fiscal year 2024 state operating budget. You should have in front of you about 70 After pages, four months uh, of work, the Show Me State's financial blueprint now sits on the governor's desk. A Missouri Senate House Conference Committee hammered out the final details on Wednesday evening. The Missouri House of Representatives and then the Missouri Senate passed the final version ahead of the Friday evening deadline. Senator Rusty Black of Shillicothe serves on the Missouri Senate Appropriations Committee. He says Missouri senators spent several hours on House Bill 2 when they considered the initial version of the budget last week. When we spent until, I think, 4 o'clock, 4.30 in the morning working on it, as much as I do some of the policy issues that we spend time doing. Senator Tracy McCreary of St. Louis County adds, when it comes to the budget, it takes months for lawmakers to get to the first week of May. We work very, very hard to make sure that we're meeting all of our basic needs and obligations. We're kind of in a holding pattern over here waiting on you. I would say that the Senate Appropriations Committee spent months going through these budget items. Missouri Senate Appropriations Committee Chair Senator Lincoln Huff of Springfield says time became critical this week because the upper chamber received measures in addition to the standard 13 bills that comprise the annual state budget. The last four budget bills, 17 through 20, we just received and were brought to our committee Monday and they've got to be done by Friday. Senator Lauren Arthur of Kansas City, who also serves on the panel, adds the state is able to use federal dollars for teacher pay and other education-related items. I think that is something will not only benefit the state right now, but it's something we have to do down the line. Fiscal year 2024 will start on July 1st. House Bill 301 will Senate Committee substitute. Potato. Work also continues on other measures, mainly those from the Missouri House of Representatives. Several hours were dedicated to House Bill 301 on Tuesday. Senator Tony Luktemeyer of Parkville handles this measure in the upper chamber, which seeks to modify provisions relating to public safety. As has been pointed out many times on this floor, St. Louis is one of the state's main economic drivers. Its success and its failures have a ripple effect across our entire state economy. During discussion on the floor of the Missouri Senate, Senator Stephen Roberts of St. Louis says he does not believe this proposal is the right approach. We've heard a lot of talk and discussion about the focus of the city of St. Louis, the problems, the crime that we're here, but no one seems to be focusing on the real issue, which is gun violence and what we can do about that. House Bill 301 has been laid over for future talks. House Bill 268 be taken up for third reading. Senator Denny Hoskins of Warrensburg handles House Bill 268 in the upper chamber. He tells his colleagues this proposal would establish the Regulatory Sandbox Act. There's no tax credits, there's no tax cuts. It only has the sandbox as well as the Office of Entrepreneurship. It takes out the Regulatory Small Business Fairness Board. In a previous version of the bill, there was some wording that related to the Missouri Housing Development Commission, which caught Senator McCreary's attention. Whenever elected officials are involved in recommending people for positions, that politics are just naturally going to come along with that. So that makes me a little bit uncomfortable. House Bill 268 has also been set aside for further consideration. The final week of the first regular session of the 102nd General Assembly will start on Monday. And remember, you can follow these and other issues facing the Missouri Senate by visiting our website, senate.mo.gov. Reporting from the state capitol, I'm Dean Morgan.